Hello, this is Ronald with Indicator Vault, and in this video, we are going to go over the candle meter uh, on Trading View. We also offer this on MT4 as well. But as you can see, there's a lot going on here with different numbers and even a histogram on the bottom. But uh, I feel we can break this down and show you some. Uh, just tips, you know, of how to use this in your trading and how I personally uh, would view this to, you know, trade with supply and demand uh, strategies in mind. I think it's a great confluence to have when identifying strong zones to buy and sell from. So first, let's just uh, go over what all this is. You can see these numbers on the top of the candles. And what it, that is giving is breaking down the strength of each down and up candle. So for instance, this red one here, it'll have the, you know, since it's a bearish candle, it'll have the top number highlighted in red, 80, and then on the bottom 20, indicating the strength of the down candle. And then this bull candle next to it will have the bottom number highlighted in blue, 67, 33, indicating the strength of the buys inside of this candle. And then up here in the top right, this is actually the current candle of how it's going, 96 and 4 on the bear side. And then this is the elapsed time of the current candle as well. And then on the bottom here, we have the histogram. We have a zero line separating the, the blue up part of the histogram and then the red bearish part. And then you can see these two moving averages are a great confluence to have as far as uh, sorting through which direction or where the momentum is heading towards. So for instance, we can see here as the blue is crossing below the yellow is lining up with the beginning just after this last up candle is lining up with this big move down indicating the shift is going bearish. And then here, as the blue is now crossing above the yellow, after a little bit of consolidation, indicating this sharp move up in price. So what are some ways that this can be used in trading? You can see I've already got a, a section here highlighted. We'll get to that. And specifically with supply and demand, it is a great uh, way to gauge which candles you have the most action, the most uh, you know activity going on in them, where price is wanting to either draw from or reject from. Right. So high volume candles and big you know candles that have. Um, mostly bodies. Actually, we're going to go over this one here in just a second. This, these are the candles price is going to want to play from the most, where price is either going to be drawn from or reached to for you know liquidity and things of that nature. So one way to validate them is you can have a certain set of rules for what these numbers on on the candles and on the histogram as far as certain criteria to validate supply and demand zones. So for this video, let's just say for an example, to validate a supply zone, which would be the last up candles before a bearish move, let's say you want at least it to be 70 and 30. So for instance, this candle, this candle, this candle, this candle, these would all validate that criteria where they are all at least 70 on the uh, bull side. And then 
For the histogram for this video, again, you can have your own strategy and different numbers you want to use. Let's say the second criteria is for this to be at least above 20. So for instance, this one meets that criteria. As you can see over here on the left when my cursor hovers over it, that one's a little over 23. If we hear this one below 19, this one just above 19. So these ones are below 20. So for instance, if that was our criteria, we would not necessarily be looking as to group these together, but probably group this candle in as well. And I know that's a large, you know, supply zone. However, as I bring up this rectangle here, so this is just for this example, as we have this one being the largest, 92 and 8, even though all of these are above 70. But this is the only one that was over 20 with 23. So I just want to note the sensitivity now of just this wick after price breaks through it, validating this as a potential supply area. Look how price never closes above the opening of this candle. The sensitivity to it. It never closes above it but it makes the lower low, whereas price never wanted to reach back up in here. Not saying it couldn't. We do see it does eventually and then continues to fall. But I just want to point out certain criteria you could use to gauge the sensitivity from these candles. Another one to use is if you're looking for supply zones in this case, the following bear candles, what you want to see. Yes, we want to see engulfing candles, but you could have a certain criteria where the engulfing candle, you want the same. You want to at least see 70 on the bear side uh, or, you know, 75, maybe even 80. Of course, this one was a huge one, a strong bearish candle uh, indicating that, you know, this could be the valid supply zone. You know, I'm just, you know, flipping the script where if you want to validate this supply, you can either look for how the bull candle is, or you could validate the supply based on the movement away from it. And so seeing this, this strong uh, bear candle following this green candle, you could easily mark out this as supply and like I just pointed out price comes back up into the zone and continues to fall and the way you could have come to that conclusion is based on your criteria for the bear candles following it and just you know just do the opposite for demand zones and lining up this one on the histogram well over negative 20 about 23 and a half. And so if you know if you hypothetically had your second confirmation as this as Nate, you know, you wanted to see this as also negative 20 while seeing this at at least, you know, let's just say 80, this would validate the engulfing candle you're looking for, which would then in turn validate this as supply. And then you could also incorporate the moving averages, you know, as the cherry on top, as the blue crosses below. But let's quickly go to this example and just want to show you in these series of up candles, uh, just to make reference to here, see these series of up candles and how we noted the most significant one with the most activity with a 92 and the histogram well over 20 that we noted the sensitivity to the opening of that price and how it never closed above it before having another strong impulse down. Well, let's take that same logic 
with these series of candles. And of course, you know, price is yet to come back up here. This could easily be another supply zone where price does touch this candle. You know, we do have some engulfing candles, some strong moves down. But I wanted to make note the sensitive sensitivity to this candle. In these series of candles, this is the strongest bull move. You see 83, 71, 74. And then along with that, correlating with it, is the histogram. This is the only one above 20, just over 21, whereas these ones are below 20, 18.5, 19.5. So if you were trying to trade from this area, could you expect price to come up here? Sure. But you want, seeing this criteria, you probably want to group this candle into it. And so I just have this one marked out just to show that price for the time being has just reached into this candle, just falling short of this one before it has shown some more bearish movement down. So that's just a little bit, uh, you know, of ways to view and use this you know, uh, validating zones to trade from where the most activity is from. You know, we can see, you know, typically we may have overlooked this candle here and just looked for here and we never would have gotten in on this move down. Again, not that price couldn't come up to here and start to fall again, but seeing how the most activity is, is going on in this candle of those series up of the series of up candles we are now validating that as far as grouping it into our entire supply zone like that price retraces back into it and has a strong impulse move down so there's obviously there's plenty of other ways uh, to incorporate this indicator but it's a great way in my opinion to validate uh, certain candles of supply and demand zones to trade from. So I hope this video was helpful and until next time, best of luck trading.